Hey everyone, Average Sniper here, and welcome to another video. Don't forget to smack that like button, and most importantly, enjoy the video. And feel free to leave a comment with your opinion. So, as most of you probably already know, PUBG introduced a blue chip detector quite a while ago that only worked on Destin. And it was essentially a heartbeat monitor uh, similar to ones we saw in old school Call of Duties, where you had a little radar screen that you could look at that would show you the location of nearby enemies. Now, for the most part, it didn't affect gameplay because it was only on the map Destin. And the map Destin, players had a blue chip. Now, I don't remember exactly why players had a blue chip in the first place, but the blue chip eventually evolved to be a piece of hardware that has a copy of the person's consciousness. So if they happen to die during combat, you can actually buy them back. Now this buyback system has been implemented on most of the bigger maps. That means that the blue chip detector should only be able to detect blue chips or players that are carrying a blue chip. So this is not and never was supposed to be a heartbeat sensor. Now, in the most recent update, they did turn it into a heartbeat sensor, but I don't believe they did it on purpose because they continued to call it the blue chip detector. And yes, it does detect blue chips, but the biggest issue was that it continued to detect players that didn't have blue chips. And this is the part where it gets confusing because every time I stream, people ask me, how does the blue chip detector work? Well, it's hard to explain because it used to only detect blue chips, but ever since the update, it started detecting players. And the reason I know this is because not every map has blue chips. So for example, if you're playing on a small map like Karakin or Sandhop, where there is no buyback system, you will notice there is no blue chip in your inventory. However, with the most recent update, the blue chip detector still detects players as if they had a blue chip. And this is the major flaw. If the blue chip detector only detected blue chips, it wouldn't be that bad. But it would still be very similar to a heartbeat sensor or radar system on maps where all players have blue chips. Now, they've opted to take it out of the game completely because people don't like to be detected by radar in a battle royale game. And this makes sense. I said the same thing myself. When they came out with this update that gave you the blue chip detector on every map, even on maps where players don't have blue chips, and it continued to detect players in the absence of blue chips, I said, this is dumb. They shouldn't have a radar system on PUBG. And there were, they got so much negative feedback about this that they decided to just remove it from the game. And if you're watching this video on the day it was released, it's going to be removed in about two days or a day and a half. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy that they're removing it because honestly, we don't need a radar system in PUBG. However, this is where, if you've followed me up to this point, this is where it gets a little more confusing. So stick with me, okay? I believe it would be helpful to keep in the game because of the way the buyback system works. Instead of removing it from the game, they could tweak it so it only detects blue chips that are not attached to players. This way, if one of your teammates gets killed, the enemy hides the blue chip somewhere because you can do that. You can take uh, you can take dead players blue chips and you can hide them so that if you happen to get killed by the squad you're fighting, they still cannot buy their teammate back unless they find the blue chip. This is a great strategy, and I use it myself when I play squads. I don't think of it all the time, but when I do think of it, if, if I'm fighting a squad and I think I, I don't have a good chance of survival and I've managed to take out some of them, I will grab their blue chips and just put them in random spots. And it's a toxic move, but hey, it, 
I think it makes the game better. I honestly like that. Now the blue chip detector should only be able to detect, to detect those blue chips that have been taken from players that are no longer in the match, dead players. That would be a perfect system. It would no longer work, well, not a perfect system, nothing is perfect, but it would be much better than having it as a heartbeat sensor. It would only detect blue chips that have been removed from the player's body, and it would help you find your teammate's blue chips if the enemy decided to try and hide it somewhere. That way you can get their blue chip and you can buy them back. I believe this was the original intention of the blue chip detector, but somewhere along the way, something fell through the cracks and the developer team or whoever was in charge of this most recent update just messed it up so bad that the blue chip detector got turned into overpowered radar. And that is not okay. I mean, how long have we struggled with people using wall hacks able to see you through the map, knowing where all the players are, perfectly avoiding you or perfectly hunting you down when there's no way they should know where you are. And of course, the little blue chip detector has a very short range, so it's not actually the same as someone using an actual wall hack or an actual radar cheat. They can't see everyone on the map, but it's still an overpowered piece of equipment that should be fixed. Now, I think because PUBG got so much negative feedback so quickly, they decided, they panicked, and they said, we're just going to remove the blue chip detector from the game. But maybe in subsequent updates, when everybody has calmed down, when the community has calmed down, and PUBG's not in panic mode about how to fix the most recent update, they can revisit this and re-release the blue chip detector and configure it to only find blue chips that have been moved. That way you can't see live targets, you can no longer use it as radar, it actually is a useful tool to find your teammates blue chips so you can buy them back on maps that support it. Just make it work the way it was supposed to work. It was never intended to be a radar. And this especially affected solos. The, the strategy when playing solo is different than the strategy when playing duos and squads. And I hate to say it, but camping is a very prevalent tactic. And even though I don't like getting killed by a guy sitting in a closet with a shotgun, more power to that guy if he can do it. If I'm able to detect where he is with a radar, that's just not fair to him and honestly it's not fair to me because sometimes if i have bad equipment the best way to get good equipment is to camp somewhere wait for somebody to come by take them out and take all their stuff so <laughs> even though i hate camping uh, for the most part i don't think that campers should be punished i don't think that anybody should be punished by having active radar in the game take the blue chip detector Make it what it was supposed to be. Only detect blue chips that aren't attached to players. And I think we have problem solved. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching this far. And thank you for smacking that like button. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.